Michelle Dockery continues to distance herself from her Downton Abbey role with a standout performance in Netflix's new seven-part Western Godless. Ursula K.O.T. Netflix A person could spend years and even decades waiting for a Western as immersive and satisfying as Godless, Scott Frank's seven-part drama for Netflix. True to the genre in almost every way and yet refreshingly modern in providing strong, vital roles for women, it plays like a seven-hour film without wasting a glorious, gritty, panoramic minute. And as a bonus, not a single character is one of Westworld's subservient cyborgs. This here's the real McCoy. And if Godless grips you like a, perhaps that's because it began as an idea for one Frank, whose screenwriting credits are as varied as Minority Report and Marley Me, shelved this labor of love more than a decade ago, a three-hour West End that never got off the ground. Steven Soderbergh, who has all but forsaken the business for TV, persuaded Frank to expand the screenplay into a series. As such, Godless, which premiered Wednesday, represents a near-perfect melding of both forms, making good on the boundless promises of the Ing frontier. Though it's tempting to gallop through it in a single binge, Godless is worth slowing down and savoring. The story, set in northern New Mexico in 1884, revolves around a notorious gang of silver thieves led by Frank Griffin Jeff Daniels, whose capricious derangement mixes both a violent and spiritual nature. During a raid on a train in Creed, Colo, Frank is betrayed by his protege Roy Good Jack O'Connell of Unbroken, whom Frank adopted as a boy. In a showdown between the men, Frank loses his left arm. After they've massacred the citizens of Creed, Frank and his men set off in pursuit of Roy, seeking revenge. It's worth noting early on that Godless is unsparing in its depiction of violence and murder. Its score is rarely gratuitous, yet some may find it too grisly to accept. While a family of traveling German settlers is tormented in the second episode, one victim cries out that Frank is no man of God. Jeff Daniels and Rob Morgan in Netflix Godless. Ursula K.O.T. Netflix This sets Frank on a brief lecture on the everyday horrors of what we now benignly refer to as the Wild West God What God Frank asks. Mister, you clearly don't know where you are. Look around. There ain't no higher up around here to over you and your young guns. This here's the paradise of the locust, the lizard, the snake. It's the land of the blade and the rifle. It's godless country. And the sooner you accept your inevitable demise, the longer you all are gun alive. This gets at an essential nature of the Western genre, a dichotomy between the jaw-dropping beauty of the American West and the relentless suffering and greed it took to populate it with non-native settlers and strivers. Shot on location on an 81,000-acre ranch near Lamy, N.M., godless is just stunning to look at. It's true that every western is accompanied by a few standard-issue sweeping vistas but Stephen Maisler's cinematography lends the series a striking authenticity and shows an instinctive understanding of a high desert environment and ecosystem. It's refreshing to see New Mexico treated as something other than a backdrop for a roadrunner cartoon. Wounded and desperate, Roy has the good fortune to trot up to a horse ranch owned by Alice Fletcher, played by Michelle Dockery, who continues to marvelously distance herself from her Lady Mary days on Downton Abbey. Alice, a widow toughened by circumstance, is struggling to break a herd of three dozen horses, working with her adolescent son, Trucky Samuel Marty, and her Paiute mother-in-law, Ayavi Tantu Cardinal. The Fletcher Ranch sits just outside the town of Labelle, where a recent mining disaster killed nearly every man in town, 83 in all, leaving their widows to figure out what to do next. Losing their husbands and providers has changed them. Mary Agnes McNew Merritt Weaver of Nurse Jackie Don's Trousers and Tweeds, reclaims her maiden name and acts as Labelle's de facto mayor. Her brother, Bill McNew Scoot McNary of Halt and Catch Fire, is the town's mopey sheriff, disregarded by the citizenry as a coward and outshot by his rambunctious young deputy, Y.T. Win Thomas Brody Sangster. Sam Waterston in Godless. Ursula K.O.T. Netflix Jack O'Connell in Netflix Godless. Ursula K.O.T. Netflix Godless is exceptionally good in dealing with many characters at once, including Sam Waterston as John Cook, the U.S. Marshal based in Santa Fe. Attention is paid to each character's nuances and shortcomings as an emotional storm builds up to a fine example of a Wild West showdown. The cast is phenomenal Daniels makes a memorably menacing bad guy from start to finish, and O'Connell, as Roy, is convincing as a quiet and flawed hero. As a way to prove himself to his citizens, Sheriff Bill sets out, somewhat comically, to find Frank Griffin's gang, while an egocentric Taos newspaperman, A.T. Greg Jeremy Bob, stirs up rumors in print, hoping to cover the gunfight of the century.
It is here that the women of La Belle realize that they must rely on themselves, arming up with their late husbands' rifles and pistols to defend their town from the masculine posturing and chaos that's inexorably headed their way. As Godless briefly pivots on a strongly feminist note, Netflix again exhibits its uncanny luck with timing what could be more affirming right now than a show about women standing together against an invading horde of brutes. Godless 7 episodes is now in on Netflix.